I am going to complement this. Uh, I'm going to fortify this issue here because the Gafe Iraq and you uh, Ukraine. Yeah, we're gonna do it like this. Okay. Iraq and Ukraine. Yeah. Like that. We're gonna do it like this. Yeah, maybe this is funny to you right now, but in trust me, in just a minute, you're gonna be chill. You're gonna having a chill when I tell you this. I am not Ukrainian, and despite the Ukrainian and Croatian side, which have committed Mount Everest of crime against me, I have supported and will continue to support the two, not Ukrainian, not Croat. I don't understand how this here popped up. Corsair is jumping. And then I have to repeat the test. The text only had problems because of them for your kinds of people is sake de jour. Do you guys know who Angela Merkel is? But I want you to see her face anyway. I do, I do. I want you to pay a very close attention to Joe told me don't talk about our allies. Don't say anything about our allies. I won't be able to help you. Yeah, you help me a lot. You, <laughs> you, you really, really helped me tremendously. You helped me a lot. There is no doubt to say. And just as I stayed in about a minute, you're going to have a chill. If you're an average viewer, and when you're going to hear about this testimony, uh, you, I'm going to give you a piece of reality about American allies, you know, American lies. Um, no, what is it? Apollo, cruise line, Apollo cruise line sold, um, Celebrity. Yeah. Well, the ship where I used to work that, and you can trust me, it was not 2000 or 2020 or 1990. I was there for six months, roughly. Um, so I could not go wrong about that kind of stuff. You know, sank. Uh, somewhere along the Celebrity Cruise Line Apollo. This was a ship where I used to work overseas. When I was 23 years old, I boarded plane, sold my car actually, bought a ticket. And I went basically to pursue my life across the pond because there was nothing left for me to do here. Um, I didn't plan on sticking with uh, issues here in Slovenia, which was more genocidal than what previously even greater Chetnik Serbian state was Yugoslavia. Um, and settle for work aboard the Celebrity Cruise Lines and then there was this ship that where I used to work and they even they tortured tremendously on that ship already after I departed from the ship and then finally it was just sank somewhere along Singapore. They made a good insurance for it. Let me see what the Singapore is. Oh, to be exact, because let me see this. 
there is a straight and along that straight let's see this yeah yeah I would say this is probably just about um, here somewhere who is sheep sank whose sheep sank Well, let me see that Greek manager, Royal Pacific Cruise, Malaysian Coast. Let me see if I can find this. Ship. All right, it's not here. Uh, Apollo is the name, Celebrity Cruises. It belonged to celebrities cruises and um, they sank one they insured one it was an old ship they insured one um, almost instantly I would say as I left the ship collected the sold one to another company insured one and collected money through that to promote like a form of promotion for the crime because the crime was growing through me heavily tortured on this ship um, and that's how British royals advertised uh, the crime if you got involved in it you're gonna be uh, greatly greatly they wanted to involve as many people as possible it's gonna be greatly greatly gonna be awarded and so they were doing with this governments this kind of issues as well this was one of the issues that was used to promote this crime enormously through the British royals. They were doing everything possible to hide probably the most heinous crime involved in since my age six, seven. Literally through Moscow. Literally through Moscow. Through Moscow. Moscow where I was delivered by Yugoslavia. Republic of Slovenia back then <clears throat> and it's where this imbeciles unfortunately imbeciles would get implicated in to you know, choose and selecting from children who would be the right one playing with a sanity the, the Russian side representing Asian side and also white side they had the Asian and they had white side, the Russians. The Belarus was white. They were biting row, row, with the white. And then they were biting with the Asian issues. Row, row, like Shoigo, Shoigo, that kind of stuff. Um, involving people <coughs> from Abkhazia and so on. The problem was the people from Abkhazia didn't have a problem with me and I actually liked them. Chinese also learned that I became interested in dating Chinese. It was very difficult, actually, in a way, but money did it. Uh, some way, somehow, the tensions grew, driving me insane, <laughs> making of a racist. They need it, because it was always the same game Soviets and Americans, I should say NATO allies, played. One played a Nazi and the other one played a Stalin. It was either you have to choose between one or the other evil. But you can't be on both. Well, if they told you that you can't be on both, it's because they wanted to fuck you. It's straight, because they work together. Um, listen up, I'm going to summarize this stuff here. Because this really applies to this issue here. This is very important for me. This is a death threat. You don't talk to me. You don't play with Iraq and Ukraine. Since you threatened that if I would be exposing issues like pedophilia, rape. Which, of course, I did. You see, right here. 
It goes under the June 30 on what Joe Biden answers with, you know, in his own way, issues. You don't do this stuff. I don't want to be killed by Ukrainians or Croats. Ukrainians and Croats have done enormous evil to me. Just as I have demonstrated here, the Croatian evil exploded against me simultaneously with the Ukrainian. And this was centered on Macedonian issue. Macedonia had war. Uh, Macedonian people were rough with me. Macedonian people presented Serbs. They presented, they advocated genocide, uh, Yugoslavia, and genocide against me straight for either cost. Macedonian people promised me death. And so uh, it's not that I didn't have a choice. Uh, Albania had their own seat in Moscow. Albania always participated in the Moscow talks. And then it was Kosovo, which also got their seat, Albanians, minority. Uh, but they were going to end this seat. And they did end this seat about, I don't know, maybe in 1990 or something like this in Moscow. This is what Kosovo Albanians can tell you, who participated in talks in Moscow. Exactly what I stated to you. That's why you don't fuck with me. Because I remember, just remember this. I remember more than what the fuck you do. I was drugged up. But I remember more than what you do. Because you don't want to remember. It's unpleasant to you. In respect to Croatia. In respect to Ukraine. I'm going to say to you like this. On this celebrity cruise lines. That's why I pulled this up. I'm going to give you exactly the date. That's why I pulled up Angela Merkel. That's why I pulled up uh, British royals, all these people, Ukraine, Croatia. In 1995, when I was on this ship aboard uh, Celebrity Cruise Lines, there was a croat that was, however, I'm not really sure, was it a busboy or was it already a waiter promoted to a waiter or whatever it was? I think he was both. He became promoted as a waiter, whatever. And this Croat, you know what he did to me? He did this shit to me on behalf of Angela Merkel, who stated to me, they will do this to you only a few times and then you are fucked. Then you are fucked. You have to go and tell that you have an MK Ultra. Well, the thing about it is, where do you go to tell that you have MK Ultra? You go and you tell the people who told you that if you're going to leave the United States of America, you will be proclaimed as insane and murdered, killed if you don't come after you decline to stay at home. Murdered, killed, if you don't return immediately from the United States of America as soon as you finish your contract with Celebrity Cruise Lines. That's to whom Angela Merkel, British Royals, demanded from me to go and declare that my case was the case of MK Ultra. Angela Merkel demanded from me to go and declare to those who committed injuries to me, such as if I go back to the Croat guy aboard the Celebrity Cruise Lines in 1995, so you know when this stuff started, he, he did to me like this. Boom. Boom, like this. Right here. And Angela Merkel stated to me, just as the, this guy stated to me, during Ultra, he, this Croat stated, I will do this to you so you can recall what was done to you surgically surgically they butchered my leg in exactly 1994 do you understand that prior to departure to united states of america 
they butchered me either was in Serbia or was it in Russia. On the picture, however, besides next to the Sergei Shoigu, uh, Alexander Vucic was also the people I'm talking to you. The British royals, Angela Merkel, um, the, the so-called allies, Americans, who demanded from me to do this kind of stuff. In other words, they did this stuff to destroy me before I would even get to America. Once I get to America, actually, to work aboard this cruise line ship, uh, it was this Croat who did something extremely, extremely violent against me, as I stated. He went and he, right this, stepped, hit like this, with a heavy shoe, right there. And during MK Ultra, which went on on this ship, Celebrity Cruise Line, this Greek ship, Celebrity Cruise Lines, Apollo, Meridian was the name. Meridian was the name of the ship. He told me, uh, they're going to only do to you this one, two more times, and then you're fucked for life. Um, I took them away more, but they did made it chronically. Just based on the injury that I demonstrated to you right now, I could go to physician. That should be just a normal procedure and immediately obtain clearance for being uh, disabled. Certain percentage you get disabled for cancer, certain percentage you get for disabled for injury on your foot, uh, cancer in uh, left arm, lymphoma, all kinds of issues, spine. This was one of the injuries they inflicted in 1995. So I want you to know what my life was about. Like, they created lymphoma in Moscow to me in as early as in 1992 at a Russian hospital in Moscow surgically have inflicted injuries in my left arm. They surgically butchered left arm and they did exactly the same thing with what I state. However, there was a big problem with it. And that's why I mentioned, do you know who this guy Plenkovich is? This is a Croat who just as important as, as uh, Tujman. This individual here was an individual who yelled at me. He wasn't the only one. Another individual involved in it was Zelensky, personally. It was the Ukrainian government, personally, who was involved in this stuff against me because of this here. It's enough that you provided a safe harbor, that you harbored the Russian side, the bad side. It's enough that you stepped in front of me, in front of Angela Merkel, in front of the, in front of the so-called allies and have demanded for this kind of injury to be done to me. Plenkovic indeed insisted that if the Russians and Serbs are not going to do it, because both sides, Ukrainian and Croatian side, and it's what Angela Merkel stated, the Russian side did to you one thing, and now it's going to be also the other side that has to do to you another bad thing. Just, it's got to be just as bad or even worse. Those are the words of Angela Merkel to me. And Plenkovich confirmed them, and Ukrainian politicians confirmed them, but it was Russians, Shoigu, Vucic, others who did this shit in 1994, surgically. Then they started to fortify these issues. During MK Ultra. they would do this kind of stuff to me. So don't you ever fucking talk to me about how much you're implicated in this stuff. If you are from a NATO or European Union or wherever the fuck you are, if I was, they say, if you're a bat, 
then it was boom like this they tortured and realized that you are bad and the punishment was boom like this yeah do you know how many like this I got many enough to become disabled I you might see me can walk very very far and do and train but just doing like this like this can leave me disabled and when I say disabled that means the cancer explodes I get paralysis uh, and it was rehearsed during MK Ultra over and over again. They use smaller socks, smaller shoes, all kinds of stuff. But this is exactly how they did it. They surgically butchered and then they intensified that by kicking in this area here with a shoe. Boom. This is very bad injury because I cannot even go and cut grass where the river bank is because of this stuff. I have to make sure that my feet always is like this, even like this. I recalled everything yesterday when I went home. And I recalled a nurse from the home for elderly, Yanko, who stated me the first thing I would do to you if we had a fight. This is a very violent individual who was involved in MKUltra. The first thing I would do, and he did to me this stuff also, is like this, smash your left foot in this part here. Yeah? So I recall everything when this stuff was done, who did this stuff to me, and who demanded Angela Merkel for this stuff to be done to me on behalf of Russians and so on. Yeah? So don't, don't even try to patronize me on issues about the allies. There are lies. There are fucking lies. For the rest, I don't know anything. And I don't know anything to, I don't owe anything to Ukraine. I know even less to Croatia, which wouldn't even exist without me. Macedonians made war alone. Macedonian nation is a genocidal nation. For what I'm concerned, they ruined my life. They pulled against me Bulgarian side. They pulled against me Greek side. They caused a tremendous problem to me. They ruined me in many ways. And suffered a revolution which was blamed on me for inciting Albanian minority in Macedonia to become independent rather than to be persecuted, uh, take a very same persecution as the Serbs have done against the Albanians in uh, Kosovo. So don't you fucking talk to me about allies and who did what and who is good, guilty, how much and so what and so forth. Yeah, rape issues are probably a difficult topic. This probably is a very difficult topic for some people. But this is just the way it is. I wouldn't be stressing any of these issues here. You understand? You do. I wouldn't be stressing any of these issues if it wasn't for Angela Merkel, if it wasn't for Joe Biden, if it wasn't for George Bush, Ronald Reagan, Richard Nixon, both George, both Bush presidents, Barack Obama, Donald Trump, and I hope I haven't missed another one, a U.S. Congress that demanded from me to struggle to be alive. Demanded from me to struggle to be alive without having the right to visit physicians, doctor, and inquire about medical assistance. Through the psychiatric gag they implemented against me in 2013. So, if it wasn't for you, 
that you did this stuff to me, we wouldn't be even talking about it. But you present to the world this case the way you want. And so you wanted to present against me what I consider to be yet another death threat. You know, Ukrainians are just as violent, maybe even more, than Russians. Um, and they are in war with Russia. They are in there for their survival. Of course, I support Ukraine because I am European. I am from Slovenia. Uh, whether you are a German or Italian or French or whatever it is that you are, unless you would like to purchase more of the bunkers, uh, whatever it is that you want to waste your money on, uh, you do like to risk which I deem there is no necessity. Uh, Ukraine is a European nation, just like any other. They strive toward European Union, European values, freedom, democracy, are extremely liberal, democratic nation. Uh, Unless you support what gives the security, safety to European Union, to Europe, safety to stability for the world, um, if you don't, it's other issues involving it. Um, As much as the bad stuff they have done to me, I still feel it's more important to be on the side of a common sense and cannot afford myself because of the politicians to again jeopardize my sanity, waste my sanity on a violence like this. But again, I'm going to say thank you to Joe Biden that you did touch this kind of issue. And as I stated, you should be a president on the first place. You are a bad president. You should have never been a president of the United States of America. You might use this issue to fool Putin. It could be your strategic or whatever you're going to interpret it to the U.S. Congress. Because Putin is not a retard. But there is one thing definite in my case that pertains to me. You should never be a U.S. president. You were never my ally. That you should have never been American president. You are a disgrace for the United States of America. You are a disgrace for the world. As for the allies, the allies are living because of you, not because of me. The allies are living because they, they get to know, they get to see what you are all about, what your country is all about, what this was all about. Because they got to know me. And they got to know, thanks to me, they got to know you. It's not my fault. It's what you wanted. It's how you want it to be. You demanded to be this way. Fuck you. I'm not going to say, so you must take responsibility for it. I will just say, fuck you. Because you're worthless for me to... Waste, you know, waste is like giving you, you know, you're a fucking snake. You're a fucking moral. You murder. You know how you murder? Through the morals. You murder through the ethics. You make people spill their hearts, and that's how you murder. You kill. You're a killer, Joe Biden. You're an assassin.